Here you can see that we have two server nodes showing up on the left side of your screen. Each of these servers is equipped with NVIDIA Tesla data center GPUs and NVIDIA Virtual GPU software. Both are hosting virtual machines running various workloads. The HPC solver has been powered off and the servers are running CAD workloads. Let's minimize the management pane so you can see the different VDI workloads that are running. Note that these workloads are running in the data center and they're perfectly fluid. These are intensive applications, so they take time to load. On the top, you can see WebGL running, and on the bottom is a browser running Paraview. The reason you're seeing a native physical workstation-like experience for these applications is that they're being powered by a GPU using NVIDIA Virtual GPU technology. Here you can see the GPU utilization using our integration with VROPS. We're showing just the VM view here, but you can also get host, guest, and app level views for all the VMs with this toolset, giving you full insight. Now let's take a look at our engineer, who's working in his CAD model. We've opened the file, and you can see that the model rotates, zooms, and moves fluidly, performing exactly like a high-powered physical workstation. Now let's select this one spindle, highlighted in blue, and work on the pre-processing, splitting the model into finite elements that we can subject to parameters like force, material composition, degrees of freedom, and impact on the other elements of the structure. This process of determining structural integrity of the model is called meshing. Note that this model alone resulted in 1.3 million elements. You can imagine that when these elements are analyzed across all of the other elements for the parameters you've set, this adds up to a tremendous amount of numerical analysis just for this one small part. Now the meshing is done, and it's evening. Your engineers are leaving for the day, and your VMs are going offline. There are still people working in your first server node, but the node has just one knowledge worker running office productivity applications. You can see the VM on the top right side of the screen. Let's migrate this user off the second server node and onto the first node, so you can free up resources for your HPC solver. I'm setting up vMotion and live migrating the VM. On the bottom of the screen, you can see the status bar showing the progress of the VM migration. Note the live VM on the top right of the screen. The user sees no disruption at all and doesn't notice the VM being migrated. He also experiences no loss in productivity. Now that he's been migrated over, let's start our HPC solver. These typically take hours to run, but we've sped it up for the sake of this demo. We're setting up our parameters, and most importantly, we're selecting the NVIDIA GPU, which will speed up the performance of our workflow. Now that the solver has been started, there's no further interaction by the user while it runs. This could take several hours, but it's sped up by 5 to 10 times because it's being accelerated by the GPU. So let's skip ahead. You can see here in VROPS the GPU acceleration on this node. The GPU is fully accelerating the HPC workload. The same GPU that was being used for your knowledge workers and engineers working in 2D and 3D models is now driving your HPC compute workload at the touch of a button, because you were able to free up your compute resources. Now that the HPC solver task is completed, let's move on to the post-processing. Our engineers will look at all the different models they've set up. Everything you see in blue has been over-engineered, meaning the materials are too thick or the dimensions aren't correct. Anything in red is under-engineered, meaning it doesn't meet the safety parameters for the design. The engineer will continue to analyze this and refine the model. And with the tools like Live Migration, your data center can work all day and night to accelerate his workflow.